Hello, this is Melvin here from the Econ's Tutor. Okay, I just ended the class and um, during class one student asked me quite a general question, but I think this question is probably what most students are thinking of as well. So the question is um, exactly how do you score okay, evaluation marks in your essays? Okay, so um, as I mentioned, this is a very broad question, but still relevant because um, when you look at your essays, right, you have level one, two, and three, and finally you have some evaluation marks. Okay, usually it's about uh, maybe um, sorry, about four marks also. So I can try to give you some broad guiding principles on how to score for evaluation, but I can first tell you that evaluation differs across uh, the different topics. But generally, I think of evaluation as um, number one, recognizing the limitations in your analysis. Okay, so if you recognize that what you have analyzed above is subject to certain conditions, then that's a valid evaluative point. The second thing about evaluation is that you can try and find something really specific to the context. Okay, that helps that helps you read deeper into the question and you can qualify as evaluation marks as well. So if I'm looking at the demand and supply essay, okay, the most common type being the impact on the market. So evaluation can take the form of saying that, well, the above analysis is only true if the Satteris variables condition holds. Okay, so other than the developments in the preamble, you can suggest that other factors can also affect demand and supply in this particular market. So you have to assume that Satteris variables holds. Okay, and um, this is something you can read into your evaluation. It doesn't have to be very long, right? You don't have to write a separate analysis on this. Uh, maybe three to four lines that will suffice okay and under market failure um, if I'm talking about policies right to address market failure I will usually evaluate by saying uh, well the nature of the problem could be changing changing nature of the problem so if I'm talking about healthcare now in the case of healthcare we use uh, subsidies we use education, we use rules and regulations, okay? Um, I mentioned, I referred to this under my earlier video on the slotting approach. So once you're done with your presenting the slotting approach, you can uh, evaluate by saying, oh, the nature of the problem is changing. For example, within healthcare, uh, we're just not, we're, we're not just looking at um, getting people to, to have access to um, uh, healthcare facilities. But one thing that's changing in Singapore is the, the fact that we have an aging population. So you can say with an aging population, now there's more stress on the government to maybe even undertake um, direct provision of nursing homes, okay? So as to meet the increased healthcare demand. So this is one aspect of the problem that's changing and that also reflects that your policies may need to be tweaked a little over time, okay? Again, it doesn't have to be a, a very long write-up. Keep it to a few lines, uh, more to serve that particular evaluative purpose, okay? What about market structure? If I'm talking about market structure and, uh, for example, I'm trying to examine how firms behave, I can always introduce a general uh, evaluative comment on the fact that there could be alternative theories of a firm. Okay, so a firm doesn't always have to be focused on uh, profit maximizing. Sometimes they may seek to maximize revenue or market share, and that can influence their behavior as well. Okay, now moving on to macroeconomics. Uh, I can try to generalize, okay? For macroeconomics, usually evaluation happens when you say something really specific to the context, okay? Um, but something specific to the context also depends, right? For example, if the question is, um, what is the appropriateness of fiscal policy in addressing uh, growth in Singapore? If I say that, um, can I evaluate by saying, oh, Singapore has a small multiplier, so fiscal policy is not really effective. Now, to me, not really, because the small multiplier is um, core content knowledge. So although it fits the Singapore context, I don't see this as being evaluative or you're not critically assessing okay, the, your position here. So small multiplier, probably not. But if I go on to say that traditionally, Singapore believes in fiscal prudence. Okay, 
and we tend to spend within our means and when we do spend we spend it on infrastructure right because that helps to boost potential growth as well that's a bit more evaluative right i can push it further to say that in recent years okay recent years we have spent more on uh, transfer payments say in the form of uh, healthcare subsidies or even um, pioneer generation packages now these kind of spendings represents a break from the usual Singapore behavior and you can say that that contributes to higher G which also explains why G could play a more significant role in boosting AB in recent years that to me counts as evaluation okay so this is just one example of how you can introduce something really specific to the Singapore context or to a, a particular context that you're evaluating okay and this helps you um, um, score those evaluative points okay of course I can't give a general principle I can only, only give you some guiding points if let's say with these guiding points you can't really formulate your own uh, evaluative comments then I'll say you really have to look at the question look at the specific scenario suggested there and then try to ask yourself are there any limitations okay for example if you're looking at a situation in the eurozone can you suggest that all oh, these countries cannot really use their own monetary policy because they are part of the euro so we may want to use that whether it counts as evaluation or not depends on whether it fits the context and whether it's something that's already been suggested to you or are you really thinking deeper to give a more um, maybe a incisive observation okay so um, i hope this helps um, it's a valid question that's why i'm sharing it uh, with uh, everyone here if you have any further questions uh, feel free to drop me an email okay it's that econs tutor okay at gmail.com okay so that's all thank you